Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components, and welcome back to episode 4 of the 1980 Piper PA-28 Warrior Restoration Project. So, uh, as you recall, uh, our last uh, episode was in uh, July. So, uh, Sarah, here we are now, September. Why don't you kind of bring us up to speed on what has been accomplished since then? So, since July, we have put in the fuel tanks. The airplane has now been set on the fixed landing gear with brand new Goodyear tires, and we're currently working on putting the LP Aeroplastics windows. So, when we first started this project, uh, we initially thought we were going to go with the Bold Warrior STC modification, putting the Lycoming 0360 engine in the aircraft. In a uh, fortuitous turn of events, a gentleman by the name of Mike Harden, uh, who was a former owner of this aircraft back in the late 1980s, uh, contacted us and said that he had bought an engine to be installed in this aircraft uh, when he owned it. Uh, he sold the aircraft and had not installed the engine, so this engine sat on his shelf in his hangar since 1991. Through some negotiating, we ended up with the engine. Uh, we sent it out to Columbia Air Services in Pennsylvania. Uh, they uh, opened up the accessory case, uh, complied with all the ADs, did all the inspections to make sure the engine was uh, in good working order, and then sent it to us. So we ended up with a zero-time Lycoming 0320 engine for this aircraft. So Sarah, why don't you uh, give us a few details on what uh, all we did on the engine during the installation. During the installation, we installed new airforms baffling, new scat tubes, and new fluid lines with fire shield. Before the engine was installed, the engine mounts were stripped, inspected, and repainted. So, we've done quite a bit of work since uh, July, and uh, things are moving right along here. And uh, we're expecting to have the propeller back from H&S Propeller uh, sometime this week. Uh, we'll get that on, and the engine should be ready to run at that point. Uh, we'll get the windows put in, and then I think we're ready to fly this uh, aircraft out of here. We had talked about maybe painting the aircraft first and then doing radio installation. We uh, contacted uh, Brian Powell at uh, Premier Avionics in Fort Wayne and uh, we will actually be having them do the avionics installation. He was able to get us some uh, good Oshkosh deals while he was at Oshkosh this year and so we ended up buying a complete Garmin package uh, with an Oshkosh uh, show special. And uh, so we'll be putting in complete Garmin package in the panel, complete with G3 uh, display, a GTN 750. So this will be a complete glass panel. What do you think about that? I think it'll look good. You think it'll look good. I'm sure it will. So stay tuned for uh, future episodes of the uh, Piper Warrior Restoration Project.